This is the best budget smartphone on the market. Yeah, that's right. The Pixel 6a, I consider this to be the best budget smartphone because it brings something very unique and very simple that other devices just don't have. Now, some people might mention the Nothing phone, which looks cool and great. Don't have it, haven't tried it yet. Uh, or maybe even the Oppo devices or maybe devices from Realme, Redmi. You can name many manufacturers, but the one thing that they don't do is just bringing in that simplicity to this device. There isn't too much to cover and that is actually a good thing. The Pixel 6a is 6.1 inches. Uh, it's a 60 hertz display. It's not, you know, high refresh rate. And that's great, which means, of course, battery life will be extended quite well. Got a front facing camera, which I believe is eight megapixels. And that does uh, 1080p uh, 30, which, you know what? I wish it was better, but you know what? It's fine. Moving to the rear, this is where, of course, the Pixel cameras really stand out. You've got two 12 megapixel cameras, one wide, and of course, uh, uh, your main lens with, of course, the flash. That standard new Pixel candy bar uh, layout for your camera lens. And of course, my color is Sage, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the look. Kind of paired with my um, speaking case here, so it kind of matches that. I know I've got that green to green ratio here. Gorilla Glass 6 curved back compared to the flat front of the front display. But this houses a 4,410 milliamp battery, which is very good. And that's, that's a key thing because battery life is something that I really enjoyed on the 6A. Now, when you look at the 6A, the, the, the 6 and the 6 uh, Pro, you can see the different size, the size differences between all the devices. What I will say is simply this. I think the Pixel 6a is probably the one that fits the best. Now, I do like larger phones and I love, say, my, my Galaxy S22 Ultra, but the 6a feels very comfortable. Now, when it comes to typing for me, it's a bit tight, but again, it feels like a comfortable device to use. In terms of charging, there is no wireless charging. It's got an 18 watt uh, fast charging capability. It doesn't come with a charger in the box. So I would recommend you get this bad boy here from Spigen. This is their ArcStation Pro uh, GNA352 charger. It, this is a 35 watt charger and you've got dual ports and this will cover your Pixel as, as well as also any other device you want to use. So performance, tensor processor, right? Tensor is a cool processor in terms of photography, AI, gaming, not so much. So has it improved because this is not uh, a new processor, it's the same process we have in the 6 and the 6 Pro, which is a good thing. Performance wise, we played three games, Call of Duty Mobile played at max resolution uh, and we got 56 frames, frames a second, which is good. I, I, I'm fine with that, I'm okay with that. And then moving over to Genshin Impact, which has a, poorly optimized game, ran that at 30 frames and it, settings were at 30 and it ran pretty much close to 30. I like that and I went a little higher, it was terrible, so not, not even worth it. Apex Legend ran at the recommended settings and it ran at 40 frames a second, which was good. Again, that's a game that I'm really enjoying right now and I think, you know what, look, for your mid-tier level gaming, this works well. That's what you need at this price range. You need anything super crazy that will drain your battery. And battery life, of course, has been great. Now, temperatures are a little high, but nothing too crazy. 106 degrees or 41 degrees Celsius. So, you know, take it as you will. It wasn't burning my fingers or anything, so I could actually play for quite a bit of time. Speakers, on the other hand, though, you know what, just listen to it while you see some gameplay. Now, the big thing, of course, is the camera. I took this out to Houston and I was able to check out the brand new EQS 580, took in photos and videos. So I'll just let you see those and enjoy the beauty of the Pixel 6.
So honestly, that is quite impressive. I think the camera is where this shines and also just the overall usability of this device. Some people ask me a few things like the fingerprint sensor, is it better? I think it's better, it's faster, but it's still not the best. Uh, it's just something I think whatever sensor that you know Google is using here with the Pixel. Uh, the device feels very comfortable. I, I really like it. This, that's all I gotta tell you guys. At 449, this is probably gonna be one of the best smartphone buys of this year. I am not joking about it. I think anyone's looking for a smartphone and is that has a budget of under $500, the Pixel 6a is your device to get. So guys, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.